especially on a map like this too, when you're talking about Dapper and Sick together, they had a lot of clutch moments in this in these Icebox games versus other teams in tournament. This round though, they do have pretty much the same thing as going into this pistol round instead, but we do have a lurk from Dapper into Tube that gets stopped by our Proto. So that's a Bulldog that's gonna get picked up. And they have two players that are low though for the defender side of LG. Very tough to take so far, and I don't think I saw the Trailblazer come out yet. There you go. So Sick, I like what they're doing this time. Usually you have that Trailblazer going out to scout to for them to execute, but they keep it towards this B side so they know when the retake comes. For example, if that Omen is still alive and he smoke towards that back spawn where the entry comes in, then he's going to use a Trailblazer to scout out. Kind of be like the Soba drone um, into other maps. With that though, we have three HP remaining for a Proto. They're still able to do so three, okay. but like, let's roll with that. Here they go with the fast play towards the A site, charging through will be a Sinatra, and that'll be deep going down. Now that's the ult coming out from Sky, and you can see those Seekers going everywhere. Shazam picks up a frag onto Moose. Stellar finally with the response for LG, but the spike's been planted on this A site. It's retake time for LG, and at least they do get the pickup from a Proto onto Zoms. That'll allow Stellar to sneak into a closer position. And oh, there's one right on the other side of that wall. Sinatra's holding the line. A bit of a wall bank kill coming through. It's down to a 1v1 now as Shazam dashes across. Can't get far enough away. Gets stuck just on the corner. Has to take the fight and is already behind when it comes to the duel. Already taking damage. Does significant damage to the last way here from Thief back into the site. But it's still gonna be the initiation coming in from Sky that's gonna find two players. And now Zoms is already in a great position to try to get some kills from above. One enemy Those remaining. flashes coming out from the Sky. So good from Sick, but it doesn't seem to matter in the end. It will again fall on the shoulders of... And it's gonna be a free plant, even place for the post plant coming through. And you're gonna try to have Dapper fall back and play the mollies in the end. But a Proto, he's ringing through. He's also rocket jumping in, but does not connect with the kill. Dapper ends his life. But Thief, your boy Dre are also moving into the rotation. Big Flash is coming in from Sky. Sinatra is also fully blinded as he's pushed forward to try to keep them busy towards the back line of the site, which means they're playing that clock and they're playing it very well. Dapper trades it back onto your boy Dre as he drops to Sinatra and now face to face. It's tit for tat continuing these trades, but Moose is now left on a three versus one. The chances are grim here for him to make it 4 2 for LG. We should be tied up at this point, especially. These guys playing fall back, far back, waiting for the spike to at least get tapped. And it's not even going to get tapped at all, because we're looking to save the weapon. They're chasing after him, and Sick is going to hunt him down. Yeah, Six going to... For the rotate to come from the B side. Again, Sentinels gain control of this A site. But it is LG trying to retake a nice big Omen Paranoia coming out from your boy Dre, but... It'll fall onto Dapper as the damage has been dealt to Sentinels and Dapper spotted out by A Proto. I like the early play in this round. You notice Thief playing as Jet, but with a rifle, moving mm -hmm. up to a really close position and then tailwinding to get away. Move so that means that he will try to go for it. Lurking towards his mid side, it's Sinatra trying to cut the rotation. So it's going to be a one versus one towards Long B. He's going to fight versus Six Dick is waiting for it. He does get the headshot though. So back to a 1v1, has no idea where Sinatra's at, who's late towards his mid. He's going to come under the tube, pass towards Oranges, and still has an adv advantageous position on the Pulse Plant versus uh, Moose. The thing is, though, Moose also has the Owl Drone. He could try to scout out if he wants to, but instead he went for body peaks towards Yellow. He's going to try to bring it a half. Sinatra's not even peeking. He's going for the whole thing. Cool. He's going to get it. Pros don't fake. Thing like coming from Sick as well. And uh, the smoke comes out towards the left side, uh, yellow. So they want to let them, they can see the spike plan, and then they want to play an early retake. And it Oof. works out. But you talked about Shazam. He's there on top of green. That's one dagger in the face of your boy Dre. Now out in the open, he gets traded out by a proto, who continues to push forward. He's traded by Stick. Now through the smoke, Sinatra's going to work. The dash across, but then Moose is the one that gets the kill. It's a two versus Last two. The two standing. clutches for the team. Now leaving it to Stick. He gets shock darted, and they come back for the retake. LG makes it six to four, and you can see how close this is so far, Bach, for the amount of money. The weapon, the high stack, green boxes. Deep is gonna try to move forward. He does get the spray though. Zombs is low on HP as he backs off. Moves already rotated across. So being by yourself from the shadows to try to fight on your own, so hard to do. And the rest are just lagging. Come through from sky as the hawk is sent into the sky. To try and blind them and push him back. Deep. Present with the knives out the blade storm. Oh, you couldn't quite squeeze that over the top. There's the killjoy ult coming through. 
and I don't think they have anything to cancel nope. it. So what do they do? Thief just goes straight in. Your boy Drain wants to go over the top one rope, try and remains. cancel it if possible. It has come down to just one player remaining, but they're flying in. They have to take this duel soon. Oh no, they've both been detained. They have two players detained. One is at least still able to fire, but <laughs> that was a little bit awkward. Oh yeah. As it's come down to a two on one dapper with, I guess, good lockdown utilization. The problem is that the rest of the team couldn't survive long enough to make anything happen. And that's the thing. Because you said they didn't have a Hunter's Fury to cancel at this time, they said, look, we don't want to give them the spike. We don't want to give them the sight. We're just going to push through and fight. And they were so close to break that lockdown because your boy Trey was just on top, but he focused on killing instead, which is good. You get the lockdown, you get Ray's a proto that's stuck there, but at least you put the numbers into your advantage. So this puts it on a two versus one. And you can see how they're both sticking together. Moose and Stellar, both inside the spawn, so they have a fast rotate into A or either into B. And now they know. They hear the plan, they know it's coming towards the A side. The thing is, though, they're playing versus Dapper. If it's not sick, they could clutch. This is the next man in line that could do it. So the turret is up to try to see them coming in through the spawn ball, but I don't know. He was too slow to shoot that recon dart, so they know he's in the front of the site. Now up towards the rope, he makes a one versus one just around a quarter too late for the trade and now the in-game leader of lg has to try to clutch a one versus one looking at the wrong angle as dapper he flicks across but stellar gets the kill comes in for the defuse and lg wins the half eight to four I think, looking at the stats, this is actual sight. And now LG for this pistol. They're looking to push five players towards the inside once again. And it's going to be a proto that's going to lean first. But he's just out of position. Cannot help Thief. As Zoms is able to land two with the share. A six, sorry, is just around the corner behind the site. That's one headshot. Looking for the second. Thief the third as well. And it seems to be so good for LG to try to win. Almost <laughs> switching out to the knife. A sick reloads. But we're still at an even five on five. There's a nice shot coming out from Thief at distance against Shazam, a proto wanting to move in close as they try to get control of the site. Zoms is here hiding inside the Cloudburst, and just like that, things fall apart as it's all down to one. It's Moose, the fight. most recent member of the squad, finding two quick kills, but now deciding to run. With just 19 HP, it's an understandable decision. Mm -hmm. At least try to get the spike plan to add a little bit of money for the team, but he's actually walking back towards mid. Who knows, maybe he might want to try to circle left. back towards the east side at the last second. If we catch anybody off the rotation from spawn. My feeling is that he might go through towards the def uh, the defender spawn, of course, to try to get the backstab on anybody trying to watch from snowman and make it a one versus one. But with 15 seconds left on the clock, he has to act quick. He's going to get hurt. Dapper is just going to turn around the corner and there you go. whatsoever and after they put the owl drone out they notice that the off is there so they rotate back towards the a side but zoms he's watching it from the back of the site by himself the seeker comes out as it's still heading towards mid so don't allies. they don't really know if the action's really happening towards his v side yet or not so they have to hold on a crossfire towards a it works out for zoms at least he's going to sh shadow step out of the way into the back of the site and this is a great hold by the anchorman towards a to start Thief slicing and dicing that Zoms sent to side. A hey, Proto's also going to find a kill onto Dapper. The knife's still out for Thief, who has to be careful as Shazam is coming through. And he says, hey, I can do that too. Never mind. Stellar with a quick flick that quickly isolates that threat. And again, we are at a two on two. Now the spike is going to go down, but they're not prepared for this play coming in from Sick, who sneaks around. I don't think they realized that there was a hole in the wall. Yeah. And they managed to break their way through. Both coming out. More flashes flying out there from second <laughs> Moose. That's a little awkward. Reaches up to grab that zip line, catches a few in the belly. That's a nice peek coming out off Paranoia Flash as well. That'll allow Sick to find some more carnage on the site. Six picked up two. Flying oh out over the my. top is going to be Sinatra. At least a proto is there, but no, Sick goes scary. to the sidearm for what could potentially be an overtime game. There's the ult, ult being called in on by a proto. Now we've said it before, the rocket hasn't necessarily been what you wanted to see. They don't clear the close corner. That allows a proto to at least get one kill. Back and forth, the volley goes. It's three on three as the res comes through. So they bring the numbers back to even strength. As the Trailblazer goes out on site, you've got a player with 5 HP flashes coming in, but Moose peeks out onto Dapper, and all of a sudden, LG is back in the driver's seat. The heal does come through. Or no, it didn't, excuse me. Thought they got the heal in before they lost their Sage, but it didn't happen. Sick. Drops Thief, and the smokes go down on the spike.
They are holding it right now as Six sticks it. Shazam's got the backup. They can't seem to find a line of sight mm. as the Shock Dark comes in just a second. And potentially just getting the read right. The Alarm Bot's going to give away the position. Dapper looks away at the mm. worst possible time. That's so brutal. Sinatra's here at least. Shazam has chimed in with one. But again, another kill goes the way of LG. Three on three. You've got to concern yourself with the knives on the other side. You've got Six. Ready to send out the Seekers, but the Slow Orb's going to make it difficult, and they saw the Seekers come through. That's another knife kill, though, coming out from Shazam, as the ult is proving to be valuable for the dip oh. main. 30 seconds left. They desperately need to get Spike back here. into this site and guarantee Spike placement, but Shazam is doing everything to lock that down. Spam coming through does connect, and that scares Shazam away, but they have to watch for the flank. Sick is still in position on the back end of this play. Stellar is aware of it because that fight initially took place back left. in mid. Can they get the timing right? One no. Sick does chime in eventually as the Stinger ends. LG were just fighting on time. And when it came down to the last seconds, they had to commit. And that's where they fumbled. So now Stingles are at a map point into the series in his best set of five. And our Proto is looking to open up. Find it. Oh no, it lands onto the ledge. No kills on that. And we're looking to close the deal. Maybe not. Moose and Stellar going to work, evening things up on a two versus two, but they still have a showstopper for Sinatra. Just around the corner as he takes out pink shells on the ground. Moose connects onto the kill, looking for the trade on a one versus one. It's Stellar! Stellar ties it, and Stellar brings it. Paint shell coming in, pushes Thief back, and that's not what you want to see. Thief dropped by Sinatra. Nice flash coming out from your boy Dre. Again, that paranoia flash is fat. It's thick. It's down to just two, though, here for the Players Sentinel's standing. attack. And now, all of a sudden, it's down to one. Shazam from distance with an operator trying to make it work. Sprayed down as the double peak comes through. Great timing from LG. And that's the first round in overtime going their way. How many overtimes they feel very comfortable on the map of Icebox. Shazam switching positions when the op wants to go for the peak. That hurts. The loss of Stellar, who's been so pivotal at times, Definitely going to sting for LG. And that's another one as well coming in from Shazam that you just hate to see. Not only are those big kills, that's the spike down. And now they can just clamp down on that position and prevent them from being able to pick it up. A hey, Proto is so busy worrying about what Shazam is doing, he's not prepared for Zoms who's right around the corner. Shazam still in position, just doing Shazam things. That's now three on the round for the Jet main. Wants to get four, can't blame him. Moose, the only one that's left alive, and that paranoia effect nearsighted for days. Zoms, where is it light? And it's going to be that A site. Now they're sending resources over to try and support Zoms, who was solo on the site. There's the peak coming up from Thief. Their sick wasn't prepared. The nade is right at the feet of Zoms. Suddenly, it's down to two. It's Sinatra and Dapper trying to keep the game alive. Dapper's taken out by Thief. We could be going into a 1-0 lead with LG as Sinatra's down very low on HP. But hold on, he's not quite done yet. 18 health is still enough. We saw a clutch from Moose with six before. Spike's planted. Gonna make things a whole lot harder for him as he tries to mask the drop sound. Does the peak come through? Yes, it does. 15 to 13. Wow. LG take map number one. Oh. And right off the bat, you're gonna have a fight in showers. They're gonna toss a curveball likely around the corner through that dark cover. Actually, they might just dry peak off this, so they do. Even though there was players present, they just back off seeing that come through and that, ooh. The Bombot almost gets around the corner as they start working their way up from short as well. There was a little bit of damage dealt into the showers. Here's the push coming through onto the site. Shazam able to strike first. Zombs gets dropped by a flying A Proto who's back on his trusty Cypher. Now he'll get taken down by Sick who comes in quick through the U-Haul. But it's back to even strike three apiece. Loose is Owl Drone going to give away the positions of the remaining players. He's calling it out. They're everywhere, but they can't really do anything to help out Moose. The Cyber Cage comes through, and as a result, it all falls down to your boy Dre. The Frenzy, not powerful. But when he goes for a Frenzy, he wants to have a Paranoia. And with the upgrade that you have for Paranoia, you have nothing left for armor. With that, though, it's going to be some pressure towards the outside B side for Shazam and Dapper. And that's One already the spike remaining. down, as they are trying to get some control towards that long B, but it gets stopped right away by the superior pyre, uh, firepower. mentioned in the showers already, making it difficult for Thief. They've put your boy Trey in showers now, trading positions as Zoms moves into spawn. Was not prepared for Moose, who is still lingering about. LG with a promising start here in round number three, as the spike has been secured on the A site to four on three, so the number's in their favor. The jump peak comes out. That'll get some information. Hot hands around the corner, just in case someone was chilling in U-Haul, but they're not. 
It's actually a Proto who's just around the bend. Doesn't turn in time, so that's a freebie for Sinatra. Maybe the anticipation was the backup was going to come through. Now, your boy Dre is still here. Recon Dart gives away the position. The last remaining player finally dropped by over towards A. So they've actually kept the defensive player over towards A. We'll see how they deal with that. Now, A Proto has gone down. That'll initiate the rotate, but there's the portal play coming in. That's so incredibly patient. Thief lines him up. And just like that, we're down to I love 1v1, this. but oh, I don't love it so much. Oh. It was a little scary there because if he does underhand spike nade, goes up over the top, but the spike's already down, so the damage dealt is actually minimal as they're able to escape the radius of that one. Last pack going through into the corner. It actually pushes a proto away from six crosshair, and a proto oh. fully blind. He's totally cool with that one. Just gonna keep spamming. Neural Theft pulls the hat off. Does he get a last one? Yes, he does. With the three bullets left. Your boy Dre all gonna go down and get planted. Run it back is utilized. There's a nice curveball coming around the corner, but it doesn't really produce as much success as one might have hoped. Dapper tosses out the hat to give away the position. The spike will go down. Peek comes through from Sinatra, and it's right on the money. That's deep dropping. A proto, at least, with a quick flick onto Zoms will bring things back to even strength. Three on three. Nice blaze wall coming in. There's a flank coming through. Moose has to keep his head on the swivel and just can't quite connect onto Shazam. Dapper and Shazam both coming in from that side of the A site. You've got a Proto currently sitting on default, his teammate in the showers. Nice cam placement to give away one. Both players tag the darts. Flash comes out and it's all down to one. It's Dapper with the stinger. Totally winnable with the HP that's left remaining. Goes for the peak, but this last player knows that the time is going to be a problem and it's timed well here from Stellar. Even finds the kill in the end. Five rounds, say Reyna or Raze even, or the Phoenix is so much better than what we saw from him on Jet. Sinatra's inside sight flashing out of the can. And there's the peak coming through, almost lined him up. Your boy Dre and Stellar though, there with the quick reaction. It's down to two on two again, close numbers. That's the thing, Sentinels has kept these rounds so close but they just haven't been able to find Spike the end planted. round scenario. The late round has not gone, gone their direction. Dapper from inside can has to be careful. The peak coming Last through from Kuka gives away the position. Your boy Dre finding it on to Zoms and there is a Beautiful brilliant swing. double peak. That was really well played from it's coming in as well. That's Neural Theft. They'll give away the position to the remaining players. They know yep. that they're starting to come into this B site. There's one elbow and there's one all the way back. Oh. The spam's coming through. Shazam actually has to be careful getting spike tagged up planted. down to 70 but another spike plant for lg yeah but there you have it just simply another round immediate trades towards hookah they jump out the window somebody's waiting at the octagon trade it back right away but after you get those two first kills inside hookah you know there's maximum only one player there and get in that neural theft see how far they're back on the rotation great position from your boy dre lines up two but only gets one now we're trying to trade it back and it's going to be stellar in our yes and looking at stellar looking at a photo looking at for players that deserved more of a chance but never got it but hold the phone let's talk about these ults that are coming out the dueling ults results in the death of shazam we mentioned how comfortable is Moose going to be with that ult. Well, he's pretty darn comfortable as he delivers a blow to his counterpart on the Big other flank. side. Now, they have to watch out for this. Sick coming in on the flank. Are they going to be prepared? The round is falling Woo! apart. It's the most promising round look we've seen yet. As it all falls onto Moose, the shotgun around the corner. First one's going to be his. Break gets a little erratic, and you can understand why. Crisp with it, too. Stellar, right around the corner. There, it's just a lot to deal with. Moose is in position as well. Has to watch out. Jumping feet comes out to Frenzy. Starts to chime in. A Proto, you mentioned that headshot percentage. Boom. And my goodness, <laughs> he's showing just One that. As they leap around the corner, your boy Dre is there. And Shazam wisely decides to run all the way over to the A site and guarantee spike play, uh, placement here. Looking at that first half, that was nine straight rounds for LG. They lost the pistol in the round that followed. Then they won nine straight before losing that last round to close things out. Shazam will die just oh, no! planted. Uh, what? Beats. There's the ult being pulled. Six gonna try and fly into position. They gotta watch out as that rocket's gonna come out potentially. Where does it go? Oh. It's a double for Sick. Dropping your boy Dre and a proto. That is problematic to say the least. The spike will be planted here in just a moment. Paint shells into Hookah to slow down anyone that we could, could be trying to come in and stop that plant. Careful now. So it's another sight take here. Nice hot hands inside the tin can. And you can see the spam from Thief is right where it needs to be. Dapper doesn't stand a chance. Good awareness there. Moose as well chiming in. Run it back. Utilize. Flash around the corner. Now they know where these players are at. So there's one on long and there's one in the cup. Player advantage has been lost remaining. as they try to drop back. Another curveball came one through. Shazam remaining. alone. The swing isn't where it needs to be. Thief survives. Another attack from showers. So it has to be a huge kill or a huge lurk from Zombs at showers. No way. 
Or that. Coming out or from that. Moose. <laughs> oh no, he has to watch out. It's a counter ult coming out from Shazam. Well timed to catch Moose on the last pulse, knowing that it's going to be hard to dodge it. Thief trying to slow them down, but it's a Proto with the peak off the back of the curveball. A Proto will eventually fall to sick. There's still players, though, outside showers that have to watch out for Zombs, who's currently on the backside. Now the Dink Shot comes through. Does end up finding the follow-up. Has to switch to the sidearm. Your boy Dre is going to go back, scoop up the rifle, go for a reload, and upgrade. Here. Somehow Shazam is caught looking the wrong direction. There's one back sight, too. The communication wasn't where it needed to be. Almost. Sinatra with the fast play towards Hookah quickly stomped out. So, run it back. Doesn't really produce the success they hoped for. The rocket, though, somehow connects with Stellar. The rocket coming out as well. And Neural Theft is utilized. It's a player advantage here for Sentinels. Thief tries to get up on the railing coming out of Puka. Just get some verticality. Doesn't really pan out so well, but oh, this could be huge. Hey, Proto, it's still yep. here. Yep. He actually rotated back from the defender spawn. He could get a surprise kill after this first one, and there's... Oh! He shadow steps away and still gets the kill! What a frag by Zombs! Moose is on his own now on a three versus one. This is going to be so tough for him to retake. As soon as he swings out, He's not going to spot much yet. He has shock darts. He has a recon dart. He wants to go for that first fight, knowing that Zombs is playing inside New Hall. Oh, is he going to get it? Easy kill. Still at full health. Second one towards short A. He goes for the recon dart to find that information, and they're shooting it right off. Just trying to waste that clock down. And he's going to go towards that showers for that face-to-face -face versus sick. The wide swing with the headshot, and then the last one to go, no time unfortunately, and Sentinels able to make it 8-11 to 11 off that crucial kill that's Zom's head versus a Proto. And here's the thing though, because he still has Zom's lurking towards the showers, so knowing that LG's on an eco, I like that Sentinels are pushing up towards long B, because they could force a rotation out towards B side, teleport, towards A, and then just go for the plant. But instead, Zom starts things off with a smoke towards spawn side to try to lure everybody outside of B. But you still have the trap wires inside the side. Thief drops the, the spike, though. That is going to be stick falling down, trying to go full screen. An opponent just by Hookah as he falls. Both of them do fall down. They have time to pick up the spike. They have time to go in to go for a plant. Your boy Dre trying to chase after it, but it's a, a safe plan. He goes long range, going for the buggy with the right click onto Dapper. Now Shazam runs out of bullets, and a Proto sweeps up the last kill, and they somehow managed to get this win and a map point for Luminosity Game. The, these rounds looking so good for Sentinels until that point when all it takes to be obnoxiously patient in that corner at the cubby, or I like to call it behind the towel. Oh, the Thief is being so careful, dodging what's coming his direction. No! Oh no, Thief just couldn't stop dancing. Couldn't get his crosshair under control. Quick he's shot coming out from a Proto, but a Proto's in sight. Oh he's got to be careful. Now the tripwire oh. gives away position, tries to connect as it comes through. Has to move to the backside of sight. Watch out for the shock darts. They're almost right on the money. Moose is still here, trying to do his best to survive. So a kite to Sentinels. They're not pushing as aggressive as they usually are. And Sentinels now have full long B control and soon to be hookah. Joke's over. And there's the orb, the orb pickup as well coming in on long showstopper being utilized as well. They want to guarantee the score to be 12-11 as they move into that last possible round. But look at the way they played this. LG oh fell off. They surrendered yeah, like site control. They're willing to play retake, knowing what could be coming for them. Fight so planted. You do have yourself in a five-on-five post-plant. Ults are still available for both sides. Neural Theft and From the Shadows for Sentinels. Neural Theft for LG. But this push is incredibly flat. Everyone's coming through from spawn. Exactly. No one on the flank. That is an issue. So everything is going to be coming through these tight choke points, either back towards the door or through the elbow, and that's what allows that to happen. Thief, though, chiming in oh, the three. Oh, man. Thief trying to make remaining. this one possible. It's down and out just one. It's Dapper somehow. All alone in a 1v3. How quickly does that turn? Curveball goes How? in. Thief's going to get the 4K. The map is going to LG. How? That's as he did on Icebox. And you have Moose. Going away from Silva and playing Omen, knowing that here in North America, Silva is not that useful. Well, the wall goes down pretty much instantly, and so does the slow orb. That'll be Stellar who's throwing those ones down. Yep. I've already seen Stellar play Sage during this tournament and during this match even, this series. Mm -hmm. But the mid control currently being gathered up by Sentinels. The setup right now with Thief around the corner playing as Reyna. We've seen great things from 
deep on that play as Reyna. And how on earth is Don't Stellar know. still alive? How is this happening? Your boy Dre Stellar <laughs> and Thief all chime in. Six trying to peek from over and be made. And now it's down to one. The last player wow. is sick as Zoms was dropped by his side. Thief to watch the rope side with a crossfire from Stellar, knowing that they gave up the A ramp early and a split could eventually be coming from Sentinels from mid side. Oh, Thief has to be careful. Wants to try and get out of dodge. Can't quite get there in time. Stellar has to chime in with some support, but also only able to pick up one. That is a weapon dropped over now. As the paranoia comes through, the tripwire is going to give away position. Stellar doing great work finding three, now shifting into position on site. There's two players here that Stellar has to worry about. Stellar's found four. No ace today. Your boy Dre is going to steal it in the end. And default spot, he dies. And that puts a, pro a proto in a difficult spot trying to rotate from male side. But now it's just an explosive round from Sentinels into this piece, into this A site, excuse me. As Moose and your boy Dre gets the first two kills, but it's straight off by Zom. Already in a rotation coming in from the spawn side, though. As Moose is still alive inside the site, he's now spotted. This could be huge right now, as your boy Dre gets the kill from the site. At the screens, Sinatra trades it off on Will Proto. They still have one-minute advantage, make that a two-minute advantage for the defenders inside the site, leaving Sinatra by himself at heaven. They're closing in on him. They know he's at heaven, and your boy Dre goes in for the 4K. And L is a heaven. There's still so much that Sinos could do. They could still take ropes back to the mid side, but they're going for the regular wall towards the back of the spawn. But then the your boy Dre with the showstopper from the top of the central charge. First kill on Fisher's M. Surprised by Sick right after that. But they still have two players inside the A site. Sinatra looking to rocket jump inside the site, but Moose swings out just on time. Orbs onto the ground. We have Zoms trying to fall back, being hunted by Thief at the same time, and they are running the B. But you still have Stellar waiting just on the other side. Face to face onto Dapper. And it's going to be another face to face at the mail with the planting on the A site. And there's just so much flanking going on right now from the ropes from the spawn side. You have one watching it from the sewers. It's just going to be so hard, but they're pushing in quick. Your boy Dre gets two, and Stellar gets one. And just like that, they've taken over the A side. Moose cuts the rotation from the flank of Shazam. It just leaves it down to stick, and Moose stops them. How? Somehow they're able to run in once again and just surprise Sentinels to get the kills and to get the defuse. Get up on the flank, and there's that res coming through. So that's a little concerning right now, as that gives Sentinels a Moose on the flank. Oh no, Moose. That's not how that should go. The Stinger bests the rifle. The boy Drake has a backstab onto Shazam. So much for the res, it's been neutralized. Now they still have a res here on the defense, and you can see they've got Stellar currently wrapping around. Yeah. Was debating picking up Thief, but they're worried about this B site being lost. So instead, Stellar has to reshift his focus and head back over to prevent this B site from being completely inundated with attackers. The boy Dre still in position. Oof. Tries to shift focus to the planter. Understandable, but now Stellar will go back and go for that res which is totally fine. So Proto has to stay alive for as long as he can and even try to create a ruckus here. Here's the gun getting picked up towards the entrance of the spawn site. He sees the reload from Sinatra, and now here comes the first kill. Headshot on the stick. A second one puts Sinatra low, but with the Sage dead, it's low HP for the two players remaining. Only Dapper at the pillar. The first kill to transfer, but runs out of bullets with the stinger, and he sprays across, but Thief gets the kill. The retake works out for LG. We now have a 6 to Thief is playing this one patient, and I love the fact that Thief does not peek, because that could have been so scary. That's a freebie for Stellar. That's crazy. Peek from mid, and it's just so good. like that, it falls down to one. The timing on those peaks, the communication from LG was on point. Yeah, definitely. So Dapper's on his own inside the A site. There you go. You talked about Leers. It's out. But Dapper does not make a sound. He does have the spike. He does have a minute to work with. So he could still lurk around being the Sentinel player now, walking into the site. Maybe he's just going to stick it at least to try to get some money here. So the spike's going to go down, and you have a rotation on the four versus one. Planted. Things are going to get very hard for Dapper right now. Just at the elbow, doesn't get one at all. And you're talking about communication, using the clock in their favor. They don't want to rush things out yet. They still have plenty of time to work with. And that's a big showstopper that could open things up. But that's the second time that Sinatra tries to come out the window, and he has stopped right away. And the anchors inside the site are good for three. Only one to fall, but a two-minute advantage. They still have a res, but they only have 20 seconds. And that's a big kill from Dapper from the A-Ram. Now the Neural Theft enemies 
now spotted from the defender side as the advantage comes in for Sentinels as that could have been a big kill if we actually got sick rotating across. But Moose has so much HP versus a low HP for the Sentinels. The big paranoia gives the tell of where Zoms is at towards the back of the site. Moose is just trying to get the crosshair placement and now it's a mind game. We made it in the back of the map. Moose swings, gets the kill and clutches a two versus one. And we're now looking at an eight two half for LG into this round, but good on Sentinels to keep them all alive as many players as possible and even an early kill on a face-to-face -face mirror match at Long B. And now they're still continuing to aggress on the inside of the map, flushing Thief out from paint shells of Sinatra, looking back towards the A ramp, but they are falling behind by two players, including a player that had a res here from Stellar. But they see the cross back towards mid side. They seem to maybe think the attack is happening towards the B side where Moose is once again pushed all the way up towards Long B, which means that he's going to be in a position to backstab at some point when he hears his footsteps. We've seen this before though from Moose and it hasn't really produced the success we hope for. A proto oh. goes through, at least we'll find a kill, but Moose decides it's more beneficial to go back towards the B site than to try to go up through mid. Spike we'll have to take a face-to-face -face battle with Zoms, who's back site currently way. might be able to sneak in. Oh, it's a free one onto Shazam! He wasn't ready! Thief also sneaks through. Because of the fact that they lost Shazam, they lose site control towards spawn, and that allows Thief to get into this position, nice but that's a huge shot coming out from Zoms, and again, it's on to Moose. There's the shrouded step to get away. Not really much could be done. That's it. This is set up so nicely for LG. And even Stellar is watching the flank before. He could be the late, the late flanker through ropes in the end. Sinatra is trying to watch it so far in the rotations back for the other three members of Sentinels by screens. But you still have Omen in the back of the site. Stellar looking for this kill. Will connect onto Sinatra with the headshot. And now coming in from hell. That's your boy Dre and Stellar making it a three versus one. Low on HP. He could maybe get only one kill at this point. But we're just playing that time. This is so well played by Moose just by, by the back of the map. And that's it. This is going to be the round coming in for LG. A big pistol, and you said it. They're going to come out here for this map where they're trying to make it more attacker sided too. But it's going to be something to talk about in the later podcast. Moose going for two kills in the front of B main. A Sinatra and Dapper on an eco trying to go for this push. Now your boy Dre looking for information. He collects the information and collects the lies of Sick and Shazam. Already an easy plant. Zom's on his own, and he's just looking to do some econ damage as much as he can. He has hasn't invested into anything at all, so it's going to be okay for him to play maybe like the last few seconds into the round to try to get some mixed kills and salvage a round, and if he doesn't, die to the spike. Not an issue here. There's some shots coming out from Sean. So get at least a kill to do some damage. The rounds in this series being on split, a map pick by Sentinels in the series as well. And now they're looking to seal the deal on a 3-0, but Psalms has different, a different answer in mind. And he just holds it up. A proto doing whatever he can, but it's not too bad. It was uh, it might mean that this Cypher has to bail. So as this ult comes through, Dapper might have to back off and go towards spawn. But no, Dapper's going to stick around. Oh. Tries to stay inside it. The rocket's going to miss. The so tripwire good. connects as well. There's the verticality coming in from Sinatra off the blast pack. Around the corner goes Sinatra. So He's good. flying in. It's the full house for Sinatra and Dapper. He left to get away. So yeah. didn't have the cyber cages necessary to try to escape. I like this setup. They put the wall down and they're going to sneak their way away. Now Dapper gets a trade underneath the scope through the wall as well. Zoms is here and prepared and there's backup as well. Six. This is falling apart exactly as you would expect it to, but hold on. He reses. Stellar yep. stays alive. He's got the res coming through. Self heal on the line as well. So this is now a two on two. This is what we've seen from LG. These late round recoveries off of some early Insane. round mistakes. It's happened before, and it looks like it could be happening again. There's still two left alive here on Sentinels. It's Shazam and Dapper. And Moose's position, it's all about timing. Moose is playing that clock. He's just waiting for the cue to drop, so he's going to play it off Stellar. And as they walk, both walk out towards this window, the first drop comes in. So that is going to be the cue for Moose to start lurking. And Stellar is looking for that information, but Dapper never moved. He continued holding that angle, and Shazam is able to win that fight versus Stellar. But good on them as well to force out the... They have cyber cages up too. I think they're going back towards the spot. Left. Nice oh shot yeah. coming out from a proto. Shazam had the off. We mentioned how he hasn't had it much, but that makes things so difficult. They're going to go up with the wall, but go down in the end. 
It's a four on three numbers here for LG. They're trying to get out onto the site. They have to move quick. 16 seconds left. They have to try to get onto the site, but there's still players here. There's one sitting back behind the sign and six inside screens. They're going to spam as they make their way through, but no, they don't get across. Eight seconds left. They have to go for the plant. They needed Zoms to stay alive, and he doesn't. Open plant comes through. It's retake time for Sentinels. Ballsy for them to plan towards that front, but because they still had smokes alive, so they put it towards that window side, and now here comes the From the Shadow. Moose staying alive was a key round so far, but can they hold it? We have a res come back. The health advantage comes back for the Sentinels. They had the Blade Storm coming out from Shazam 2 as he dashes inside the site. A trade after trade, a one versus one, and as he drops towards that ground, it's this, and Dapper gets the kill with 8 HP remaining, gets to the fuse, and everyone we are now tied 10 to 10 in this third map. How? On that ground for Dapper could still throw, throw things up and allow Snake to try to get a kill. But it's a trade that comes into an advantage of LG. Leave here right now a weaker B side. But Shazam's already on a rotation. He's about to come in close with the operator. Thief already falls. That was a quick snap for a kill and a quick retreat. That puts now Zombs on his own left. inside the A site. He has to hold this for as long as he can so that Shazam can rotate over. Here they go, into the site. A proto is gonna be the first one in. No, Zom! Towards his B side. Oh, Sinatra. He's playing on the corner of the box. Gonna do significant damage here. Ends up connecting on the tail end player. Stella despite being low on HP. Whoa, nice shot coming out from Thief, but they're still back up from Sick to try and stop this one. And an ult was utilized by Zoms, and I don't even think they realize because they're so busy focusing elsewhere. They're not gonna be prepared for Zoms, who's currently just sitting in the back corner of sight. And you can see the strike come through. Now it's up to Thief, and Thief gets dropped as a shot hits him in the backside. 12 rounds for Sentinels. One round away from forcing map four. I thought that he did, just because I saw Stellar throw that uh, slow orb. The series has played out thus far, <laughs> it's not a surprise. Definitely not. And if that's the case here for Shazam, I like it. But here comes the early wall as they're going to try to push aggressively, but Sick puts a Frost Orb on the ground. Already the spike has been dropped. And that may be forced the rotation back when Sinatra comes out with the rocket and connects onto your boy Dre. The trade doesn't connect as Sinatra gets a third kill or a second kill onto Thief, making it only two players alive for LG. Big fat paranoia. LG moving forward with the proto. Stellar trying to even up the score, but Sinatra trades it off. That hat trick that out. A prematurely called Defenders becomes win. a quad kill for Sinatra. They've ever done it as a team. Sinatra, the first point of contact as they're rushing straight through from B onto the A site. Zong gets the first blood into this game, but two trades into the A site on this push clears out the A defenders, and the trap wire also no shows that there's going to be a flank coming in from Phoenix from behind. Dapper at heaven. Moose wins that fight versus Sick, the fourth agent that we were telling you guys about, talking to you guys about, that we see Sick play in this series. But the jump out towards window, your boy Dre gets dropped. It's a two versus two. LG does have the low on HP, hiding on the left side cubby, so it's Moose that's gonna have to play the fainted switch, but Dapper instead goes for the wall bank and gets the kill. The close range on the Frenzy, it's a one versus one. Mirror match for both of these Sovas as Moose is about to come up. Halfway through oh. is the defuse. That is the timing. And now he's gonna run up with his Frenzy and he's gonna get that win versus Sinatra. And a 4k for Moose gives a piss around for LG. Pan out the way you might expect it to. The spike will be planted on A. Dart's coming in to try and keep them back. Recon Dart does give away the positions. There's the fly-in from Shazam who tries to get point-blank range. Shock Dart's coming out over top of the wall. Three on four. The flank is actually incredibly valuable, but it doesn't pan out as well as you might expect. Sinatra fully blind with nearsightedness from Paranoia. Drop down to one HP. Does Sinatra die trying to jump out the window? One Six coming in remaining. on the flank. Oh, Sinatra's found one more. One Sinatra does make it up remaining. on top of the box, and all of a sudden it's down to your boy Dre in the 1v1. This has fallen apart quickly, has to keep his head focused in both directions. Mm -hmm. Six should have this one. It's going to be very close. Coming down to the wire, Sentinels will pick up the round. 1.13 seconds left on it. Right now, we've pulled out two defenders off the A side and it's going to be harder for Zoms to hold the A side. At least, though, they get a kill for his mid side, and there's that crucial kill coming in for Zoms. But a little bit over aggressive, gets traded up by your boy Dre. The plant will come in favor of uh, Luminosity Gaming, but Shazam's already on the kill onto your boy Dre.
Look at this move as well. Getting onto the site, sick, using Blaze Wall. <laughs> Not prepared for that Blaze Wall to drop, but it doesn't matter. Even though he dies, the rest of his team is there for the cleanup. Shazam finds three on the round. As yet again, we go back to the A site here for LG. So, four rounds, four A side. Everybody just stepped up on that end. And that could be the type of gameplay here for LG, too. They've had, with a different roster, won 12 rounds in a row versus Entbox to win 13-11. So it's never necessarily over for LG on this map when they're trailing behind. They have that tenacity that I mentioned at the pregame. They all, always have what it takes to try to fight back. That was the one during uh, qualifiers for yep. first strike as Shazam yep. goes into the site flying with the knives out. Three kills for Shazam. That's just what time. So uh, that kind of is the nature of the beast for them. Shazam from distance with the operator. And you can see quickly, they're like, yeah, nope. Uh, we're going to go somewhere else. <laughs> and that's a tough part here for LG, because if they want to run away from uh, Shazam's a uh, operator towards the A long, they want to try to go back towards C. But C has all the trap wires set up right, and kill traps uh, towards that left side of the site there for Dapper. So. B seems to be the place where they want to try things out and it pays it off. It pays off rather because they open up the site. They at least get a spike plant and six on an early spike flank, planted. which could be detrimental here for LG. So they're currently up inside the site, close range, aiming down the site of the Odin. A Shazam is going to drop. But there you go. There's that first kill on that back stab, a second one, and the third one hiding behind the gong. It's gonna be your boy Dre, who evens it up on a one versus one. But they know where he's coming from, and your boy Dre swings on the right to clutch that two versus one. But it doesn't really do anything because they were so far away from him at that point. Yep. I'm interested to see what happens here between Moose and Sick, who's coming in on this flank. Nice damage dealt, but Moose is wisely going to fall back. Empress being utilized by Thief in sight to improve that fire rate and obviously go for those heals and dismisses. Sinatra with the Odin spraying away. It's all up to Thief on sight. One, two, looking for another. It's Thief with three. And now Sinatra's back sight. Why not make it four? The same oh. mag, it's all he needs. The Smoke's coming out from the offense as the flash comes through as well. Paranoia onto Zoms. He gets his vision back just in time to catch Thief. Quick kill coming in from your boy Dre. Zoms still back sight. The dart's going to give away the position of one. Sinatra spraying away. And Six going to chime in with two in the end as well. As the Odin goes, wires down from Dapper. So they're playing retake on this C site as they were playing really far away, stacking their eggs towards the more towards the A site, even towards the B. So the spike will be planted. It's going to be a five on four now as Shazam picked up the ult orb on long A to unlock that ult. The blade storm comes out and it results in success immediately. Run it back going to be utilized. Canceled pretty quickly by Sneller, who's waiting around the corner. Has to be careful. Verticality coming in. He tries to dodge it by going inside. This is looking really good so far as Thief backs up. Has to watch out. They again try to get closer and closer oh on the site. Thief peaks a little bit more than I would have expected him to. And now it's down to just one here on the side of LG. It's Moose trying to stop this one from happening, but it's going to be another four spy round working out well for Sentinels as the thrifty call gets made. LG, they just fall apart. They, they play. Owl drone will go in first. Again, we talked about this earlier. It's not something we see a whole lot in Moose. And it's not typically utilized as much as it is from others. Now the showstopper's been popped and they know yeah. that that shot came from backside sight. So that's Sinatra going down. That Odin not going to make much sound this round. Nice nade going out as well. The Odin's been picked up. A proto in fantastic wow. position. Curveball going to get dodged as well. A proto beats it. And now it's down to one. A another stellar take coming in from LG. No pun intended. As the man we were just saying the name of tries to get the last kill, but Thief gets there in time to steal it after utilizing Empress. As they're trying to keep Zoms from planting the spike while the rest of the team rotates into position. Now the problem is how much utility was just utilized to make that all possible. You've still got this threat in heaven, but now the smokes are starting to fade because on the other side, what utility was used in this position. There's the dismiss and what just so happened? Good. All of a sudden it's down to one dapper. Now coming around the backside, a masterclass in retaking the A site put on by LG. I was exactly Flawless. gonna say that, Bob, because it was nice that they delayed it with two shock. This was actually when they let Sentinels back in. Shock Dart's gonna come in again. It's Boy, not where on. it needs to be. It actually needs to bounce off that. So the Aldron's gonna go out, and Moose is gonna wait for his team yet again. The same setup as last time. 
Everyone coming through spawn. No one on the flank. Sick is going to do at least what he tried to do last time. Nice updraft to put him into position, but there's two players waiting there as Sick goes for that hot hand towards spawn. It does slow them down. The flash wasn't what it needed to be. And oh no, this is not looking good here as yet again, the pistols are proving to be valuable. It's come down to two and they're doing great damage on the site. They know what this last player is. He's right around the corner. Surely Sinatra can't do much else as the paint shells come in just to be safe. <laughs> a bloody round there, but it's still LGs to take as they tie the score at seven apiece. It was close, Buck. Out of the dark cover, a proto is wise not to push in. You can see how they're setting up for this retake, or this post plan, excuse me, playing back in mid more, playing off the spike, but they're still one in an advanced position. It's sick. And as he gets right to that spot, oh, ow! Boy. The communication does not come out from a proto in time. Sick again was dealt damage early on in the round. Does not survive in the fight against a or Stellar, excuse me, but the round pretty much already lost. They know where Stellar's at. As soon as he goes around the corner, Shazam is there waiting. Eight seven. And still, Sentinels hold strong. They take the lead. Potential for two rounds in a row. As Deep plays the off angle, another one to peek out as he's trying to heal up. The big guard that spots two more. So he's looking for some support. And the running back gets stopped. He's aiming down the site to get the dink onto his opponent, but he still falls no matter what. Got a stinger, and, and their cypher can pick up Bulldog over the site. Wow, well, never mind. The value of the gun, not there because it never gets a chance to fire. The Bulldog wasn't picked up by A Proto either. It's going to be a Sheriff. And they've got hot hands, dark cover, everything they can to try and slow this down from coming through from spawn. A Proto will start to peek, but there's two players backside. As he expects to, if he gets this first shot, he does. Nice shot as well. Looks for a follow-up on the Zoms. Going, so this is a full bore push into C, into C. I don't think they anticipate more players being here. The ult comes out, and the knives are just frantically flying. You can hear just flying at a ridiculous speed. The SMG's not working out so well. Stellar's still on the site. This time he finds success, but only one. And it again comes down to two. You've got one coming in on the flank. That's left. Steve, who found one of the early kills on the round with the Sheriff. Can he get there in time to try to stop the spike? No. As they start to set up, oh, he gets the intel. And now Thief probably wants to peek for the heal. That's the heal coming through from the Devour Thief! Wasn't sure what was going to work down in their favor. So now to run it back and try to take control here towards the end. It happens so often that you have these run it backs that come from garage side and it runs straight up here towards the right side of the default boxes where the person that's towards the back of the site is in an open spot and I've seen so many times he just gets killed by the running back with no support from spawn side. They got to find a way here to try to adapt to those moving forward for any of these teams playing the defender side. Now we have four on three. Neural Theft is out. They have two kills from a proto and sick now spotted on that flank. So now they know that the spike has been planted. It's a three versus two. We're walking down for him. He does not win that fight. So this could seal the deal now for uh, Sentinels. The fake tap and Shazam long range of Proto Falls. And now it's 11 to eight and, and try to bring this to a fifth, but LG still in a position to be able to buy. But you need those players to step up right now. So Al Drone from Sinatra, trying to break some trap wires if he can, trying to look back towards the back of the site. It does not break the trap wire towards the left side of default. So Proto is still in a comfortable position now towards the back of the platform. But the thing is, everybody else from Sentinel are trying to push up towards B while we have a push up from A, but still alert from Dapper. Point. This is going to be the biggest back step for Dapper on inside the A site because your boy Dre will never see it coming. So there you go. He gets picked off. Now they can push through the spawn as well. But the thing is, they also leave Thief unchecked at sewers. So Thief can look back and get this kill. Meanwhile, though, we will still get the plant towards B, and that's it. After that, Thief is going to look back towards A Link, but Dapper is still lurking around. It's going to be so hard here for LG to try to retake a 5 versus 2. Zombs has the, the spike planet at the default spot in front of the B site. But the big back step comes in from Makoto. And there you go. They both die simultaneously. And everyone... Anywhere, either you push into defender spawn or you go back long A or bottom cat. Here they go fast up mid fast. though. Shazam's the first one in as they're charging up short. Stellar is there to try and create some great damage coming out. Now, oh. that's not great damage. Somehow, the pistol just doesn't connect. So the dink shot is in. As you see, a breach brought into play from Sick here. Again, Spike illustrating his versatility when it comes to the agent pool. This man plays everything. Camera's going to spot one out. Knows one's close as well. Shock dart's on the money. It's suddenly down to one. As he's trying to get away, can't get under in time to get for the reload as well. Sentinels are slowly falling behind, but it should be an easy fight now towards this B-side. LG, just looking to maybe drop a weapon or two out of the hands of Sentinels, but 
You heard it. The flawless. Definitely a, an attempt to play a retake there for LG. They gave up the A site. They had Thief playing towards that balcony, hoping to surprise at least somebody for a kill and a dismiss right after, but he immediately gets popped off at the rafters, which makes it hard for this retake to happen. If no kills happen immediately here in the next five seconds, it's sort of dead with no map control right now or, or gaining any control for the A site. They have to act quick. But now as they fall one by one, slowly through the cage, it continues to trade, but Stellar's low on HP. You're pretty much going to try to save your weapon now. The A site right now is weak. Very weak. LG's defense on A, not working. As Sentinels has it's hard, easily right? made it into A almost every time. Uh, yeah. Even in the pistol round they lost, they easily made it into A. Come through, so that moves the position of that player around. There's the smoke coming out. A proto doesn't react in time to Zom's position. Ends up getting blasted. Quick shots coming out from Moose, though. He may be newer to competition, but he's certainly got the aim as Zom starts to come through into the site. He's going to get spotted, though, on that back side of the boxes. And that's another kill for Zom's on the round. It's a three on three. Great damage dealt. Currently to the Omen, who peeks right into it. That was Stellar, who was low on HP. And oh. Okay, Zoms <laughs> just popped Thief with a random... Not going to make a single sound as he just want to wait for his teammate for it to rotate. There's the old thing pop. The rocket comes in, but it's actually late. It doesn't deny the plant, which is what I think they were Huge. hoping for. There's still one currently in hell. Six going to spray down two. Not able to find the third and ultimately was running low on the mag anyway. Would have had to gun swap and hope for the best. That is a big ult coming in, but it was the paranoia that set that all off. Yep. You could see they were all blind. It was either the again no another run, recon dart on. comes in, I was gonna say, and yeah, that's the ult being fury. popped. What does this do for your boys, right? He's trying to dodge it, and he gets caught shifting his position. Now a neural theft comes through. Zoms is going to pick up a headshot on the Stellar as well. Thief has to move as there's an aftershock coming in. Thief dismisses over healing, and now he's down to 10 HP. Has to just keep on surviving. Boos. Shock dart coming out and a peek to follow. They're going to close the door and run to B. I actually oh. love this play because now Moose is he's starting to realize like, OK, they're actually going to try this on me. Can he catch them off guard Ten as they try left. and make their way over? They're going to, going to be one that was potentially holding, but they decide to drop the door instead and book it towards the site. Just enough time to get that spike planted as well. About one spike second planted. left on the clock as it touches pay dirt. And the recon dart doesn't ping him, uh, but he's going to shoot with himself. So they know he's already close towards spawn. He's trying to look back towards that sidewalk. It's not going to get shot. So that doesn't spot the two players on sidewalk. Finally one. one. So he's going to be able to place it on the second, but he does not know that. He planted nonetheless. And again, we're in a retake. And again, so it's on the A site. Yep. And the thing is, because that shot was missed by our proto, he decides not to go for the flank. And everybody's going to try to go back from heaven with him only at tree. But everybody's falling back here towards the A main. Sick did his job. He got a bit of information, but also got a kill on top of that. So the last three players, thankfully, that's Sinatra still alive because he can throw shot cards. He can probably have a recon guard very soon. They're spamming through the smoke as well, but it's going to be your boy Dre on a three versus one. And now they're just going to play the time. You know Sentinel should have this. They're just going to bunny hop across the whole time. Oh, I like this, though. And that's it. The round's going to come in for the Sentinels. And it's going to be six to four. Uh, it's going to make it cost a lot of money, though, but it's going to cost just as much for them. Everyone exactly. dies. This B-side that he's trying to anchor on his own right now with only a pistol. And here comes a flash. And oh, 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 okay, oh. just a sheriff is good enough. And I think he was blinded. Oh. He gets the third kill. One and now he gets paranoia. Remains. The trip kill. He gets the fourth one looking for the ace. So, guys, you are leaving the B-side to a proto. And that's only Sinatra on a three versus one. He does have a Hunter's Fury. He goes for the Owl Drone, but the fight's about to come from behind. And there you go, a proto. I said he needed to step up. He does so. Crucial kill. Last time it was Sinatra on Haven. This time it's sick here on Ascent. As the nade goes into sight, Zoms is going to get forced out of position. And the carnage starts to develop. But it's in favor of the other side as... Dapper gets a tripwire kill on your boy Drake? That really just happened? <laughs> no. Oh, Have we man. ever even seen a tripwire kill at this level of play? <laughs> Unbelievable. It doesn't matter in the end. Thief will find a 4K on the round. Again, he's got the cape on. You could definitely see from Sentinel's point of view that they were trying to get 
tally up some kills where Shazam might not need to buy a Phantom into this round and go for Blades instead. But with this bonus round, they go for an aggressive push through tree and Ooh. amazing trades happening though uh, for both sides. It's evened up, tallied up on a 3-3 overall. Low HP is going to be loose as the flank comes in from sick but gets traded out once again by your boy Drake. Sinatra on the top of heaven side. Shot starts to come down and he does not connect with those. But low HP is going to be your boy Drake going for the plant. And you have Shazam coming in from the doorway side. Now, Showstopper, a trade. A Shazam gets the kill before he gets blown to bits. So there's more than just an SMG in his hand. He's got some added firepower, and you hate to see that. LG <laughs> loses one of the biggest pieces of their attacking side right away as Shazam pops an updraft and immediately dices him up. When I see that there's still a buy going in for Sentinels, no matter what, I'm still scared. And the Blade Storm opens things up. That's going to keep LG guessing. Yes, they lost Thief into that one, but they lost a player with the Spectre and trying to get some information uh, early into the round towards mid. So the rifles are still in play. So the three uh, ARs and the Bulldog looking to go for a Crab Walk peak that somehow moves wins versus Soft. I know now they pick exactly. up the orb, they clear out one, the neural theft, they know that there's two players play now playing towards the B side, do they want to push in on this? That's the question you gotta ask yourself, with 39 seconds left, and no real control of mid, do you really feel comfortable trying to rotate all the way around the B? We all know how long that rotate takes. 30 seconds left. So, they'll use this Al drone to try and get some more intel as they do intend to go towards B. You've still got Dapper on site, but... Yikes, Dapper is taken out very quickly. Shazam's knives don't produce much success. After that early kill, that's all they got. Spam through the door from Sinatra, but it's not really where it needs to be. Now, Moose has a nice backside play, but it's the Bulldog, and the gun doesn't really work as well once the target falls down. The Aldrone from Sinatra will give away the position. Recon Dart going out as well. Not going to do so much. It does actually spot quite a few players. Thought it would have died a lot faster. Sick. In that 1v1 with Moose and mid, only had a Bucky. So you can understand why Moose doesn't really catch much damage from Sick. Mm -hmm. He might be able to convert on a kill as they come out from short. But he's also thinking, I could maybe upgrade a gun here. There's going to be yeah. a gun sitting at top mid. Wants to go back to grab it, but though. it's only an SMG. So yeah. not exactly a great upgrade. Oh, I have this. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> up. They are so prepared for this. Now the camera might give away what's happening here. Six in position. The shotgun doesn't produce as much success as one might hope. The nades right on the money as Tapper tries to escape that detonation. Left. Not gonna happen. There's still one on the site. It's Shazam who's here with a pistol. He's got backup as well. The classic burst fire misses initially. Jumps down, goes for the jump shot. Stellar is on the money. With no contact, a weaker B sign. They're gonna try to split mid to B. And let's see if Sick and Dapper can hold it in. Six got the flashes there. Flashpoint's coming out. There's the ult from Sinatra delivering as the camera actually gets flashed of all things. Shazam! Putting it in ADS and burst firing away onto three. You've got one player remaining and he's gonna get taken out by Zoms who is inside the site. Go for a pivot. And they manage to get onto the A site and they'll be getting a spike plant out of this as well with the player advantage. Again, this buy was scraped together. We'll see what they can do with it. They've still got the Empress ult to rely on. Nice nade coming out as well. That forces one out of position as your boy Dre finds one on the Sinatra. Shazam's dropped down. They weren't prepared for it. It's a three on two, and there's a dart delivered that forces sick back. Dapper's still going to hang out. Two on three again. They do have the neural theft oh. that'll give away the player position. So as they fly in, there's the dart giving away the neural theft giving away the positions. But the boom, you're rotating at this one side and Zom's still late. This could be another round where Sentinels decide to save unless Sinatra gets a kill early. He's already looking to clear out the sidewalk and ult towards the mid side from Stellar to look for the lurk at 21 HP. He's gonna come face to face versus Shazam. Shazam takes the upper hand. It's a three on three now. Touch. Still very doable on that peak lurk later on, but. Now they spray it back, thankfully, for a dart that came out from a recon from Moose and a spray through the shed. But Shazam at the staircase. Another dart coming in from Sinatra this time, but it's Moose that connects with it. Being pop. Hunter's Fury going out. Zoms is fully blind on sight. The Boombot oh, comes in, but it's actually the shots coming out. A proto oh. picks up Shazam as well. That's the B site lost. As you can see them starting to send players over to B to try and support 
LG is moving left. in that position. It's going to be up to A Proto, who's going to spot them first as they come through from spawn. Quick pickup from Sinatra after Sick goes one down. The really Aldrone right. will go out next, but it's all down to one last player. Sinatra with an SMG. Oh, that is it. LG win. are your champions. 3-2.